Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Another pest control video today, this time I was shooting with both my head guns. And here is the first shot of the day, I started with the head gun Matador. Observe how he opened his wings to fly away in the last moment before the pellet hit him. And here is the follow-up shot. And a quick shot of hand. As you can probably hear, the wind started picking up. Distance is 80 meters. Then I saw this one hiding in a shed. You can hear the nasty wind again, constantly shifting from south to east. I had to wait for this one to stop moving. 80 meters again. This 62 meter shot I had to take from a very uncomfortable position, leaning against a dirty metal rod. I had to stalk this one for a while because he simply wouldn't stop moving. Distance is about 75 meters. Eventually I had to take the shot because he was about to leave my line of sight. A lonely couple on one of the grain bins. He actually remained on the roof, and because of his carcass, no more pigeons landed there that day. The wind gusting again, 82 meters. And now my Edgun Lele's turn. This is the one that I chose among the rest. And another feral hiding in one of the storage facilities.
Later that day, a friend of mine called and said he had spotted quite a few pigeons infesting the lower part of the construction of a bridge. So we decided to go pay him a visit. The distance here is 79 meters at an angle of about 12 degrees. Note the hold for wind. 2 mils and it's still barely enough. The incline angle is the same, but I miscalculated the distance, so I had to finish him off on the ground. This is an angle of over 45 degrees, hence the hold under. At the end of this video, I'd like to share with you some images and footage of the most pigeon infested location I've seen so far. I came across this site on my way to the bridge. Apologies for the bad quality of some of the photos, I had to use digital zoom while taking some of them. These are actually two separate neighboring businesses. Needless to say, I did approach the staff from both of these places to see if I could get permission. My request was denied almost instantly on the first location. I did have a short conversation with the manager of the second one though. At first he was interested, probably because while we were talking a couple of truck drivers were trying desperately to chase the feral pigeons away from their cargo. Um, but then he said he couldn't give me a permission for fear of animal rights activists. I want them gone but not like this, he said. I wasn't even given an answer when I asked him what more humane way could he think of. Well, I guess I received an answer to my question when I went to a permission of mine several days later. What you guys see is perhaps the dumbest contraption I've ever seen. This piece of wire fence is way too upright and the cord goes for less than 10 yards. A stupid trap calls for extremely stupid birds, I suppose, if you can find such. That being said, imagine how humane it is to crush birds underneath this and then just finish off the surviving severely injured ones in who knows what manner. That was all for this episode everyone, I hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and see you soon.